All right, I'll skip. Let's go. So first part of this trick is an up warp. It's a pretty standard up warp. You just get that angle and it generally works. Now here comes the fun part. This trick has three, three to four ish phases. There's phase one, which is pre height. Phase two is nudge. Phase two and a half is possible correction. Then phase three is jump. So phase one, we need some pre height. And as you can see, we already have enough height for this to work. You don't need that much. Like even this will, will be perfectly fine for you to move on to phase two. You don't, you just don't want like this where you're either like just touching the floor or your feet are like below the gold ribbon. So just try and get like some amount of height. So like, like if your feet are around where this line is, you're pretty much good to go. And it doesn't matter if you're too high or too low because it's gonna get corrected in the nudge phase. So now phase two is nudge. You're gonna put yourself parallel to the wall of the pillar and just slightly nudge yourself forward. You're gonna look for either a snap up or a snap down. In my case, it's gonna be a snap up. And be very careful with your nudging because it's very easy to get greedy and clip back out. Right there. So that's what you want. Let's so now check yourself to make sure you have the correct visual cue. In my case, I don't. So I'm gonna do phase two and a half possible correction. So I'm gonna jump and then slightly tap my stick right. So I think I did too much. So I'm gonna go back to nudge phase. Okay, so I got a snap down. I'm gonna do a possible correction. And I got what I was looking for. When this corner is below Cusco's neck corner here, that's when you know you have enough. So now we can move on to phase three, which Let's is just going look into look see. mode and turning it so that we're aiming for this corner. It helps if you have the health on. If you, if you have full health and it's not visible, you could just pause the game to bring it up. And then, then you just charge and jump. So let's run through that again. Let's do the up warp. We have, a, we have more than enough pre height. So now we're gonna look for either a snap up or a snap down as we nudge forward. Okay, so I got like, I saw a snap up, but I got a little greedy and now I got a snap down. And as you can see, I'm too low. So I'm gonna have to do a possible correction. You'll see a very big difference between like, a snap down and the possible correction. Hmm. So now we just look and we charge jump. Now, if you're worried about like jumping too late, what you could do is like press jump really close to it. So if you press jump and charge on the same frame, what's gonna happen is you just won't move forward until you actually press charge before you jump. And you get it like that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on keyboard as well. On keyboard, it's a little bit harder because your, your nudging won't be as forgiving. I don't trust myself with this pre-height, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more. That's good. So now, if you're having trouble like getting out of the wall, Boom, you could baby. do some, ah, uh, fuck. See, I tried to do some jump kicks to try and get out of the wall more, but I got a little too greedy. So now just be, extra careful with your nudging because it's very easy it's a lot easier to clip back out by accident on keyboard we're looking for a snap up right there and i think Let's that's enough i think that's enough where i'm gonna make it it's gonna be tight and be careful and just charge them Booyah! easy as pie well it's not that easy it's gonna take you some practice to get it down because it's kind of a real base trick but well you know what they say strats save seconds movement saves 